Start by making sure you have a really long tail on your body. I like to make sure mine is about as long as my arm span, which is roughly 5 feet. Next, make sure to have a disappearing ink marker. You can buy this at any craft store in the sewing section. Finally, find an object with a circular base that has the same circumference as the opening of your body. I like to use this shot glass that I found at the dollar store. Start by aligning the shot glass from a side view. We want our finished sheep to be looking straight forward, so don't align the shot glass too far forward or too far back. Centered below the ear is about right. Then, without losing your front to back position, turn the head so you're viewing it from the front. Adjust the head side to side to make sure the shot glass is centered below the eyes and ears. Once you've ensured your shot glass is centered both front to back and side to side, grab your disappearing ink marker and trace around the base of the glass. Thread the tail of the body through a yarn needle. Lay the body on top of the head over your traced circle with the tail centered on the back of the head. Start attaching the head to the body, leaving some slack in your stitches. This part is kind of tricky because it's not an exact science. Just make sure the distance you've gone around the circle on the body is about equal with the circle on the head. Make adjustments as you go. It's okay to pull out some stitches and redo them to ensure things are staying even. Leave your last couple stitches open. Once you're fairly sure the head is on straight, we're going to tighten all our stitching with a yarn needle. Use your yarn needle to pull a strand, then pull it tight with your fingers. Tight stitching and proper stuffing ensure you won't end up with a wobbly head.
When you get to the end of the rounds, add additional stuffing until the neck is nice and firm. There shouldn't be any slack or empty space between the top of the body and the head. Once you're finished stuffing, close up those last couple stitches and pull them tight. Secure with a knot and hide the yarn tail inside the work. I'd love to see how your project turned out, so if you post a photo on social media, be sure to tag me so I can find it. If you haven't already, please do me a big favor by hitting the like button on this video and subscribing to my channel. See you next time!